This week, we're going to talk about micronutrients. Now, this is a very important subject and it's something that medical doctors typically don't talk about. And the reason is we're not trained in it. Now, you're going to hear this from other healthcare professionals who are more uh, expertise, has more expertise in this. One would be a holistic nutrition nutritionist. I have one myself who I use. Also, naturopathic physicians are the ones who talk about the micronutrients. And there's many micronutrients that we don't measure in medicine. And that's why medical doctors don't talk about it. But I've had the, I've had the privilege of interviewing Jacob Teitelbaum. He is a internal medicine specialist in Hawaii. He's in my book. He was one of the first 12 interviewees on my podcast show. And we had a storming podcast. It was almost an hour long, like almost double other people. And we dived into the subject of micronutrients. So I'm going to share some of his thoughts on this because he knows way more than I do. So let's dive in. Micronutrients. Well, first of all, what is it? Well, these are nutrients that not only come from food, and they do come from food, but they come from the earth. And this is one of the problems because as we over farm our lands, the nutrients are depleted and therefore the food is, hasn't got the nutrients as they did a hundred years ago or a thousand years ago. Now there are some micronutrients added to foods, typically would be grains and breads, um, cereals, you know, your, your B vitamins, for example. So you can get added nutrients in processed foods, but it's nothing like what you can get if you go and buy a um, good quality supplement. So there's lots of things we could talk about on this subject, but tonight I'm just going to focus on, well, which ones are they? And maybe for another episode, we'll talk about the, the practicalities of it. Okay. So let's go from the top. I'm aware that this is challenging. We all have financial restraints and how much we can spend daily or monthly on nutrients. So I'm going to start with the ones most commonly used and then I'm going to work down that I would be advising people. So the first, if there's only one, which one would you take? It's a really good question. I think for your general health, I would go for vitamin D. Vitamin D because it acts like a hormone and it's important for the functions of the brain, the nervous system and the heart and your immune system. Really important and all the other multiple um, benefits to it. So what's the dose? I had a patient today, I asked, they says a thousand milligrams, which are a thousand units. And that was good from zero to a thousand is fantastic. But the dose I would be recommending is anything from 5,000 to 10,000 units a day. Now that's a lot. As far as I can see from the studies, you can't be toxic with vitamin D and um, it's important to get enough. Now, if you've got a skin condition, you can't go out in the sun. Somebody very close to me has got that. So it's very appropriate to get vitamin D. Um, one tip on that is drops are an easier way to take it versus tablets. So I purchase, I purchased mine from several sources, but Costco is a great source for vitamin D, 1000 units in a drop. Okay, so it's vitamin D. Multivitamin, well, multivitamins are important because they have a long list of micronutrients. And I won't go through all of them, but you can go to any store and have a look at the back and you'll see uh, what they are. Calcium, magnesium, the B vitamins, um, selenium, zinc, etc., chromium. Um, so you'll get that in a good quality vitamin. And you may think, well, what's a good quality multivitamin? Well, ask your pharmacist or ask your naturopathic physician or ask your holistic nutritionist I myself use USANA, U-S-A-N-A, because it's one of the most researched product lines on the planet, it's been around for many decades, really good quality, and what you're buying is what you get, okay? So multivitamin, good quality, with a variety of different nutrients. Next, B vitamins. One thing to watch for B vitamins that I've came across in my research is you may need replacement, and I recommend most people need this, especially with chronic pain. and it's 50 micro units per vitamin B. So Bs are water soluble. That means you take them and they're absorbed through your food um, or glasses of water or liquids. There are other ones that are absorbed through fat soluble. So you need to use oils and etc. for absorption of those. We'll talk about that in a minute. So B vitamins, either 50s or 100s. 
you can get B complex 100, B complex 50s. So if you're using B vitamins for about three months, you may find that the symptoms get worse because you're overdosing on B vitamins. So it's important to be aware of this point. And if you're getting into the details of trying to figure this stuff out, I strongly recommend you get a professional who deals with this as a day job. So holistic nutritionist or naturopathic physicians. Next, anti antioxidants. There's a wide variety of antioxidants. Vitamin C, I personally take about 1200 milligrams a day. Um, you can say, well, I get that in fruit. Sure, that's a good source as well. But that's a, a round figure to start with. Magnesium, anything from 300 to 600 milligrams a day. Really good for chronic pain. A great way of getting magnesium into your body is Epsom salt baths. I've got a a uh, patient I see very regular, and he always has Epsom salt baths after a good day's work. And he's absorbing that magnesium into the body through the skin. Great way of relaxing and getting magnesium. Zinc, I mentioned earlier, 30, maybe 40 milligrams a day. It's a great dose. And that's used for the for many, many cellular interactions and chemical um, equations that are happening all the time within the cells. And it's a great nutrient for your immune system. Next, omegas, omega-3s. Now these are fatty acids. Uh, fish oils are a great example. So a thousand milligrams per meal, 3000 milligrams, I take 4,000 in a day. And these are great if you are taking other vitamins. For example, say you're having a salad and there's lots of micronutrients in a salad and vegetables. Well, if you have the cod liver oil, you may have got that as a kid, or fish oil capsules or omega-3 capsules, then that will help the absorption of the fat soluble vitamins. Okay, fat soluble vitamins. So that's why it's really important when you're having salads, for example, you either have one of those or you have olive oil to absorb the nutrients. Okay, so that's omega-3 is very good for your heart, your brain, and your nervous system. Next, ALA. Any guesses what ALA is? So that is alpha linoleic acid. And thanks for Dr. Teitelbaum for telling me about this one. Um, you can get this in foods like spinach and broccoli and potatoes. It's an antioxidant and it helps with, again, the brain, the nervous system. And the dose is 300 milligrams twice a day. 300 twice a day. And next one is NAC, N-acetylcarnitine. So again, excellent nutrient for our muscles and our nerves in the chronic pain state. And Dr. Teitelbaum recommends one gram, three times a day and I would do that for a couple of months and then maybe cut it back to once a day. And just to wrap up, um, turmeric, you can get your turmeric capsules, a great herb that can be in, in tablet form as well and you can take one of those a day or according to the product um, label and that will, that will tell you on the label. And just to wrap up on this subject because I think there are foods out there, herbs out there that we can take that are going to optimize our pain treatments by eating foods and the herbs are the most dense foods so that are really are micronutrient and the five that reduce inflammation and therefore help pain are turmeric cloves black pepper good old black pepper cinnamon and mint so those five turmeric cloves black pepper cinnamon and mint okay so that's a few pointers on some micronutrients and if you want more information dr Teitelbaum's book is called pain free one two three pain three pain free one two three and the spelling of his name is t-e-i-t-e-l-b-a-u-m dr Teitelbaum. he's also got an app called cures a to z you need to pay one dollar 99 for the new version called cures a to z plus and there's also my own book that's got conquering chronic called conquering chronic pain which has got some of this information as well so there you go there's today's information on a very important subject and um if you have any questions please ask me so thanks for joining me it's uh, really good to see a few familiar faces there and uh, i look forward to next week when yet another live stream will be here to talk about another subject matter on the whole area of chronic pain. You're welcome. Nice to see you. I won't mention your name for confidentiality purposes. I'll respect that, but it's great to see familiar names here today. So all the best. Keep being awesome. 
And just wanted one last comment about you if you've got chronic pain. Remember, and these are the words of David Clark, a yet another gentleman, professor who's in my book. And he says to his patients, and he believes firmly after interviewing over 5,000 patients with chronic pain, he says to them, you are a hero. And the reason is you get up every day and you face your life and you've got this problem, but you get on with it and you are heroes, right? It is a battle. You are in the trenches. So give yourself a pat on the back. It's really important. Nobody else will. And um, keep moving forward. Try these strategies I'm talking about in these live streams. And you can check me out all over social media. Um, you may have heard of Anchor or Medium. These are different platforms for video as well as blog posts. YouTube, there's Instagram posts, there's here on Facebook and uh, TEDx Talk. We've got Wayne for Mr. TEDx Talk. And um, if you can't find it, you can go to my website at www.waynefemister.com. I'm talking about a lot of these things. So thanks for listening. Really good. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.